Hi and welcome to the tutorial for creating a timeline online. During this tutorial you will learn how to create a timeline and post it on a website so that your students can get to it. We start at timetoast.com. This is where, what the tool you will use to create your timelines. Once you create an account you click on the your timelines link. And since we haven't created any timelines we're going to add a new timeline. And for the, for the whole timeline, we need to add a title. The title of ours will be The War of the French Toast. And the category we would categorize this under would be History. We choose History, and we choose to categorize it so that our students can find it easier. We're going to choose an image, which will go along with our timeline, and we're going to choose the picture of the French Toast. So we select the French Toast, and we click Done. And there you go. Our timeline is created. So the first step is to create an event or add an event to your timeline. Our event will happen on this day in history and we're going to call the first event the beginning of the war. We're also going to add an image to our event. We're going to add the image of the French toast. And if we wanted to add more details, we'd add it here. But we won't for this one. So we'll create the event. And there we go, our first event, the beginning of the war. We're going to add a second event. And this will be, the title for this one will be the Battle of Orange Juice. This event will happen in June of this year. And we'll also add another image. We'll add the image of the orange juice to this event, and we'll create the event. And there we go, we have two events. Now we'll add a third and last event to our timeline, and we'll make this event happen in July of this year, and we'll call this the end of the war. We'll also add an image to this event, and we'll add this picture of President Obama eating some French toast. And we'll add a few details to the event, We'll say President President Obama ends the war of the French toast. And there we go. We'll create the third and final event. And we have our timeline. Now once we've created all the events in the timeline, we need to view it as our students will view it. And this is what they will see. To go into detail into any one of the events, we simply click the event and bam, all of our details are presented for us. To get out of this, we click the X. Now because we haven't published this timeline yet, our students can't see it. Our last step is to change the publish status. So we'll, we'll see the War of the French Toast. We need to publish it so that our students are able to view it. So we click the publish button and it is published. Now this War of the French Toast timeline is searchable for all of our students and anyone else who's on the Time Toast website. Thank you for watching the tutorial on creating a timeline online.